How's it going everyone? Welcome back to a brand new video. Me and my beautiful girlfriend Charlotte Hello. are back in Mallorca again. You're probably wondering why. Pretty much we got back uh, from Mallorca from our last holiday on Tuesday. It's now Sunday so we've literally been home for four days and we decided to travel back out uh, with the pure intention of trying to meet Rafa Nadal. On the day that we left, the last time, that's pretty much when he started practicing again. I've been a tennis fan for years and years and years. And I thought, I'm off on summer holidays. I've got the time. This is a perfect opportunity to go out and see if we can meet him at the academy. So we're going to go out and explore Manica for a bit. Then we're maybe going to get a bus to Porto Cristo. So before we get stuck into the academy itself, I'm going to bring you a little montage of the scenery from Manica and Porto Cristo. Let's go. Crystal right now, this is where Rafa Nadal actually stays. Uh, you will see behind me that's Rafa Nadal's yacht literally here. I'll give you some close up views of that. But right now, we're about to go to the beach and I'll also show you about there. See you soon. How's it going, everybody? We're back at the academy. Um, it's an absolutely huge complex, very impressive. I can't actually like remember off the top of my head how many courts there are etc but I'll put it on the screen like as we go through the montage but there's loads of hard courts, loads of clay courts there's a gym, there's another gym for the players over there like behind me now, the blue building if you can see it that's the actual academy so there's like a primary school, a secondary school and that's where the students actually stay so there's students that stay here all year round um, it's another lovely day here so yeah before we even get stuck into the chance of meeting Rafa Nadal which is pretty much an impossible task given that there's thousands and thousands of people that come here every year with that dream. I'm gonna show you around. Let's go. Right, if you just watched that montage, you see the academy is massive. So your chance of meeting the Dal when you've got thousands of people there is pretty slim. But I'm just going to give you a couple of tips if you are going to give you the best chance to meet him. Pretty much he trains on centre court most days. But if he's not on centre court, he's training inside. If he's training inside, your chances of meeting him is pretty much nothing. Purely because it's like a private training session and he's wanting to be in those conditions so that he's not getting bothered by fans, in my opinion. But I also think it's because of the conditions of like the, the conditions vary if you're outside or inside playing tennis with the ball bounce. So I think he's preparing for the US Open dependent on whether he's playing like night sessions or day sessions. Um, but if he is on center court and he's playing outside, just get yourself to the front, be there early, and you will definitely see him up close and personal. You might get a picture or you might get an autograph. Um, that's my best tip for you. But you also do need to have a bit of luck on your side and just make sure you have a few days there so you can try again if you don't get it on the first day. A bit of luck was on my side purely because he was doing a photo shoot for Kia and I'm going to show you the clip of where I met him. 
um, pretty much just after he finished the photo shoot, he came over. There wasn't that many of us waiting, maybe like five or six people, including me and Charlotte. Um, so it was very lucky. I got two shirts signed. I got the Australian Open shirt, which we won this year, and the French Open shirt, which we won this year, signed. And then the next day at practice, I also got one of the photos signed. So I got three items signed by Nadal and I got a photo. So it was an amazing experience. I really did enjoy it. It was well worth the trip. And now I'm going to show you just a few clips of him practicing both outside and inside and also the clip of me meeting him. So if you've got this far, thank you so much for watching the video. I hope you enjoy the rest of it with the, the practicing clips and me meeting him. And again, if you've not subscribed to the channel yet, hit that subscribe button and we'll see you soon. Take care. Do you need another hand for a stretch? No, you just a stretch please. You okay? Stretch it? Just a stretch, forget it about that. I've got it, I've got it. Okay. Can you do it like this? <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Thank you so much.